Hi everyone, um, I'm Hou Tao um, and I worked uh, for Huawei in Hangzhou, China. Today I want to share and uh, discuss an, a simple idea about uh, F, about uh, BPF FS iterator. Mm. And the, the following is the agenda for the presentation. First, I will, I will give a uh, I will give a short introduction about what is a uh, BPF iterator because um, because maybe some FS export is not familiar with the BPF iterator. And then I will show some use case. I will show some possible use cases and the demos for the BPF file system and the exp and and the, some demos. Okay, um, and the. And last, I will present some problems for the BPF file system iterator, which I which I didn't resolve the law. Okay, let's go to the first uh, introduction part. So, what is a BPF iterator? The following text is is what I copied from the uh, color documentation. A BPF iterator is a type of BPF program that allow us to iterate over specific type of color object. So, um, the as we can see from the below below finger, uh, it works first. It, um, first, uh, a BPF iterator it it can it it. Uh, Consistence one BPF program and another BPF iterator FD. First, the use the user space where where set up where set up two things. First, it it, it will create it will load a BPF program and then uh and then it it will part some it it will pass something about the color object exert it may be a FD. It may be the file descriptor of the color of of the color object to the to the BPF iterator, and then when the use when the use when the use space application read the B, reads the BPF iterator FD, the BPF program will be invoked and it will write something into the BPF iterator FD, and uh, then the user space application can read the content from the from the sync file. Yeah, that is how how the BPF iterator FD works. Yeah. So, um, as as we can see from as we can see from the as we can see from the finger, unlike a normal, and uh, yeah, um, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I forgot, I forgot to mention that BPF iterator is a tracing program, and unlike a tracing program, normally tracing the BPF program is is triggered when a specific color function or event is called, but BPF iterator is, but the BPF program for BPF iterator is different. The BPF program is invoked when only the use when the use application trying to read the BPF iterator FD. Yeah. Next, uh, I will in the next slide I will show some example. Yeah. The 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 for the 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 following is the example of the. Uh, of the of the task of fair iterator iterator uh, and as we can say from the from as the the code and the and the and the, and the left is the code of the BPR program yeah as we can say first it extracts the the task and the fair and the FD from the from the past context. And then it will use some BPF helpers. For example, here is is a BPF synchronous print. Then it it will it will print something to the yeah it 
it will write this, this textual content to the BPF iterate FD. Yeah. And uh, the code and the write is uh, uh, is a schedule of the is a schedule of of the of the user of the user space application. First, it will uh, use it will use the schedule framework to to open and the load BPI program and and then it pass the it pass it pass the it pass the, the PID of the task to the to the to the BPF iterator and and then this uh, it it uses this lab BPF API to create a BPF link and then it, and last it create a BPF iterator through the link so when when the application trying to read the iterator the iterator FD the program the program will be the BPF program here is a sample task file will be invoked in the kernel and the the, the task the task structure and the file structure uh, and the FD will be passed to the BPF program and 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 the, and the, the BPI program will output the interlus of the task or the F or the file into the BPF synchronous file. Here, it's the TID, TGID, PID, and the F operation of the of the task. So uh, the the finger and the and the wrap down corner of the slide is an example. As we can see, um, here, here um, the task fill iterator, it we are trying to it we are trying to iterate or open the file of one task. So as we can see, uh, this is the FD, this is F, this is the FD, and then this is the Fair operation of the of the struct of the fair correlated with the fair descriptor. So from the above from the above uh, two slides, we can we can know how BPF iterator works. And uh, uh, in this in this slide, I will uh, I will show. I will show some simple demos about uh, about the BPF file system iterator. I mm, the I, <clears throat> I think the mo the main motivation for the file system iterator is to provide more observability for the file system object. So maybe we uh, we could we could uh, do we could iterate over all file system objects. For example, uh, or I load or I load in one super block or or dentries or mount and I uh, or even the 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 uh, the, the page catch of the I load. Um, The, the following is the possible use case for it. So, for example, we can we can use we can use the file system iterator to to dump the folio orders of the page of the page catch. Yeah. Mm. Although, uh, although it can be although the although the folio the folio orders can be dumped by using pro. You using profile you you uh, page map and the key key map page, but I think if we can use a BPF, uh, it it would be it will be more efficient. It will be more effi efficient than than read read and open the profiles. Yeah, and another and another use case is uh, is is the cache status? Yeah. Uh, 
I think uh, um, some developers in in the matter has has uh, has has proposed to add uh, a new state score to do that. Uh, it pro it proposed a new state score in uh, catch status to try to to try to re return the catched and the dirty and the right back pages of the one node. But uh, I think. Uh, with 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 the PPL file system iterator, there is a low there is a low lead to to add there is low lead to add a new set call. We can just we can just implement to the uh to the to the to the PPF iterator. Yeah. And another possible use case is uh for example uh for example uh to dump to dump or to dump Mount 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 info for a specific mount. Uh, yeah, but uh, mm, in the this in the but uh, it also can uh, as opposed as uh, but it also uh, no uh, okay it can be used for. It can be you. It can be used to dump a uh, mount info, but I think um, it may be it it may be a little flexible than the than adding a new set called like uh, FS info. But uh, but uh, I I'm trying to say FS info. The proposal FS info. It also could uh, dump mount info for a. Uh, Specific, but uh, I mm, and it's more powerful. But uh, I think a uh, fair system iterator it will be it will be it will be more flexible. Yeah. And uh, uh, another use case for us is to is to find is to find this unlinked I, but pinned. But, uh, can I interject for one second? So uh, the iterator is yeah. not going to replace mount info system call in any way. That's just not going yeah. to happen. We need this for user space for separate reasons. People don't want to use this with uh, BPF, and uh, uh, we have other plans with this. So this cannot be a replacement. And I have some reservations about exposing, especially mount info, to uh, into okay. BPF because then you get into really intricate locking scenarios: namespace lock, sequence locking, lock mount hash, mount propagation. That's all terrible machinery that is isolated explicitly into fs slash namespace.ce. Yeah, but uh, mm, I think it we can we can provide some BPF help for the for the file system iterator. So this interlock can be can can be can be hidden in the BPF help. Yeah. Uh, let me continue. And uh, a lot, and another possible use case is to find trying to find uh, some I load which is unlinked but pinned I load. Uh, here pinned is mainly is uh, is spe is special meaning is pinned by the kernel. Ega, ega, the file the 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 file is opened by the kernel. Yeah. So we can use it to. To find out why there is a difference between the output of the DU and the DF, yeah, this is one possible use case for us. Oh, uh, okay. In in the in the in the next slide, I will show some example about the FS mount. Yeah, it's a uh, uh, it's a uh, it's just a, a simple idea. Yeah. And the left is the BPF program, and the the right is the user based like code. Yeah, as we can see, the how to dump the mount info as we uh, and allow um, and in the demo we we just we just provide a BPF helper. Yeah, uh, to 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 do that we didn't we didn't try to uh, we didn't try to do. Uh, 
the namespace lock and uh, and the other locks in the in the BPF. They 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 just you they just use a helper from the uh, from the file system. So yeah, uh, this is, it 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 just it just calls the mount the the mount info. Yeah. Uh, uh, and the following two lines, it 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 we are trying to it we are trying to uh type cast the wherever the, the mount to the structure mount and uh, and trying to and and trying to dump something about uh, the mount ID the mount flex of the of the mount yeah as we can say yeah uh, we we can use it to we can use it to dump or speed. Uh, we can use it to dump a mount info for uh specific mounts FD. Yeah, they pass it. They pass it to the BPM program. Uh, sorry, okay. Uh, sorry, I just want to. Uh, sorry, I just want to ask. So, so the examples uh, you're giving, these are like intended for like, I am a kernel dev and I want to figure out why something is broken. Right. This is not like we're expecting. Yeah user space to be like, oh, I am now going to start inspecting very deep bits of how the VFS works and so on and so on. Like this is all for debugging yeah. is, is my understanding. Okay, all right. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I do, yeah, I, you are right. I think it's, uh, mm, yeah. I think it uh, will be mainly used for for debugging to check the internals of the, of the file system object, yeah. Here uh, is just a demo, a, a example, yeah, to to show to show what uh, what what does BPF file system iterator can do, yeah. Uh, uh, the this slide it show, uh, it just showed what uh, uh, how what what we. What uh, can we do? What uh, can be what can can be do for the uh, for the I load in the in the file system? In in this example, I provide uh, I do two things. First, I uh, here it uses the three BPF BPF helper. First, it it uh, it uses the uh, BPF file mapper cache state cache status to uh, to to get uh, the cached and the dirty pages of the specific I load. Uh, yeah, uh, it, here it is a XFS file system and it, it decides it's them and it's uh, cached and it's a cached page. And then it, uh, it trying to, it, it, it trying to damper the folio orders of the, of the page cache um, because as we know, um, XF has a multi order has a, has a multi order follows support. Yeah. Um, how, how just a time track here? You you have about one or two more minutes. Do you, do you have something that you want to quickly wrap up or something that you want to discuss with the forms here? Yeah. Um. The next two slide. Yeah. Sorry. That's okay. Uh. I I think uh, I. In in the in the previous three slide, I just show uh, what can we do for the uh, FS editor. So I want so but the, there is some problems I want to start. Yeah. The first is uh, do we need unprivileged BPF iterator? Um, in my yeah. In my perspective, yeah, you could open the file doesn't mean you can retrieve the implementation details of the file. So maybe, um, uh, yeah, um, the back, the background is now create a BPF iterator needs a privilege. Yeah, it's the cap of BPF. So, uh, so it will be not uh, available for the for the normal for the normal use so um so i want i wanted to uh, so i want i i wanted to discuss um, should we should we add support for the for the unprivileged bpf a tweet yeah andrew has uh, suggested one idea to 
to how to make it uh, usable for the normal use. Yeah, uh, it is just a vacant, uh, vacant pin. Vacant pin the BPF. It will uh, pin the BPF link in the BPF FS and change the and uh, and change the mode of the file, so it can be read for the normal use. But uh, mm, I'm not sure because uh, as uh, this as this as uh, this task just now. It's mainly you. It's mainly used for the for the for the debugging purpose. So maybe uh, uh, that that is that is make it available only for the root user is uh, maybe is okay. Uh, I mean, so my, my impression would be that I mean you would uh, okay. So like user space could decide that they're going to that they're going to give this information to everyone. And they can decide to go into that ship into the abyss like that. They can do that if they like. But it seems to me that it is a very, very bad idea to be like, oh, like, oh, you have an open file. I will now tell you about the kernel memory layout, and like, I will now let you access all these things. I understand you're saying this is like something which like you would need to, an admin would need to allow. My opinion is that an admin should not allow that, even if they could, because, like, what? I mean, like. Oh, I have a file. I can like. It just to me, it seems like a like a very scary proposition, right? I mean, obviously, like you definitely don't allow this by default. If if a, if, a, if an admin decides to enable this, they they can deal with when someone exploits it. That's that's their problem, right? Like it seems like a bad idea to me. Plus, it, plus, it's mainly for debugging and yeah. debug. Like if you want to debug anything, you need to be root anyway. So whatever. Like that, that's that's my opinion. Um, yeah, I I think we have to cut off here. I think we can continue. How we can continue the discussion on on the mailing list? Um, I saw you have patches up there, so we can. I think we can continue up there. Um, so we have to go to the next talk, which will be Phil's. Um. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Hal. Uh, mm, thanks.